So I am back with yet another First Descendant video and today guys I bring you an incredible new way you can farm unlimited amounts of gold. This one you do not want to miss. How's it going guys my name is DPJ now on a weekly basis I am giving away Ultimate Descendants or the equivalent in that calibre. Now I haven't posted a First Descendant video in probably over a week now as Black Myth Wukong has swallowed my life. But what I normally did was I'll go over my first descendant videos over the past week and pick one winner who's been active from the comments section and announce them as the winner at the end of the week, normally on Sunday's video. Because I haven't posted in probably over a week now, this is probably gonna be the one video I pick a winner from. So if you wanna win this, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I'll pick one winner from the comment section of this video and announce them as a winner on Sunday evening's video. It's as simple as that guys, so good luck everybody. Also join my Discord link down below for more amazing giveaways. So with the season one update to the first descendant, Nexon have changed many, many things in regards to farming and gains. So some things I actually think they spent hours upon thinking about the decisions at hand. Others I don't think they thought too much about at all. And with today's method, this, I don't think they spent too much time thinking about whatsoever. So I won't say it's the best gold farm method in the game because so much has changed. I haven't tested everything yet, but this is better than anything I can remember previously to the season one update. So using today's method guys, well, depending on your descendant you use, the quicker you can take enemies out, a couple of enemies, the faster. Uh, but me on bunny, I was averaging around 10 seconds per run using my weapon only. And every 10 seconds guys, I was getting between 15 and 20,000 gold. Now, if you do the maths here, that's roughly around 120,000 gold per minute. That over an hour, guys, is around 7 million gold. And that's me using Bonnie with nothing but weapons. Descendants like Valby, who can more or less have those enemies dead before they've even had time to think, will probably double this in regards to how fast she can take enemies out and rinse repeat this farm. Other descendants too. Remember, I'm using my weapon only here. This can be a lot, lot quicker. I'm thinking easily over 10 million gold per hour. So with the season one change to the fusion reactors, the void fusion reactors, they don't take your materials until you now use that reconstructed device. Previously, if you took all enemies out and got that reward screen, it would take your materials. They stopped this happening for the benefit of players who accidentally intervened and joined one of these void fusion reactors. Because if you did this, it would take your materials, even though you never planned on using said reactor. So they stopped this from happening. The result is now you being able to start these fusion reactors, take out all the enemies, earn that gold, earn the fusion reactor rewards in regards to modules, uh, reactors, materials, etc, etc. But it will not take your materials until you use the reconstructed device, meaning in reality, you can do this over and over and over and over. It's as simple as that. Now this works with any fusion, any void fusion reactors on any region, but the best ones to use in my opinion are the ones that spawn in those elites and not the ones that spawn in mini bosses with phases. Although you can use this with those mini bosses with phases, the phases slow down the farm. So if it's just gold you want, there are a couple in my opinion that stand out as being easily the quickest. So the Stereo Land Repository Area Void Fusion Reactor is a great one to use. This one's super quick, it also drops you those fusion plasma batteries. You also get a bit of Kuiper here too, not much Kuiper though, around 400 per run, which isn't bad if you're thinking about 400 every 10 seconds, that's not too bad whatsoever. Uh, you get around 18k gold per run in doing this, but don't forget about the other things that can drop from this fusion reactor, including the transcendent module, the descendant module of Cold Snap Watch, among many other things. And that's another thing you may want to take into account. Some of these have chances to drop in some amazing modules. So look around on different regions, guys. If there's a module you're chasing, you never know. Now, the Agna Desert Storage Area Fusion Reactor is decent too. This one spawns in though four elites, so it takes a little longer to run. But if you need that synthesized artificial biometal, this is the one I truly recommend you come in to, as you get between nine and 50 per run 
Now runs for this for me on average were taking around 25 seconds so it is longer and although gains were slightly higher I was getting around 20 to 25k per run. If it is gold you want there are faster to come. So the White Knight Gulch Mountain Tops Area Void Fusion Reactor is another amazingly fast one to run. This one consists of only two elites, uh, one that spawns on the point and the other one up on a ledge. Now if you position yourself properly you can take these out in 10 seconds easily, which was my average. Now the material you get here is that crystal bio gel. So if this is something you need then this is the place you want to farm it. Now per run here I was clearing 18k gold every 10 seconds this fusion reactor also drops a toxic stimulation module and a few other great things so yeah now if you're currently playing on valby there's a fusion reactor you can use upon hagios within the corrupted zone area which has a chance of dropping the supply moisture transcendent module now this one consists of only two elite enemies spawning in who are real easy to take out uh, to a point where i was more or less taking them out within the same clip on my Greg's Reverse Fate. And now the material you get from these two as well is a specialized biometal. So if this is something you want here, guys, definitely come to this spot. Now I was able to run this in around 10 seconds too, uh, averaging around 15 to 18k gold per run. So it's a great one to farm for sure. Now, in my opinion, the best one to run purely for that gold is within Kingston's Grand Square area. It having a chance of dropping the Matrix uh, Recomputation module, I think I'm saying that right, Recomputation, I'm not sure, who cares, among other things too, guys. Now, in my opinion, it's the easiest and quickest to run, especially if you're using weapons only. The material you get from this is the uh, Low Carbon Activator 2, a very, very important material. It consists of a single elite enemy spawning in and although he is a little bit tankier uh, i was running this thing in around eight seconds flat getting around 15k gold per run sometimes a bit more sometimes a bit less but yes guys there we have it an amazing new season one method in farming that gold depending on your uh, descendant i'm gonna say between seven and probably 12 million gold per hour absolutely ridiculous so yes probably take advantage of this while you can stock up that gold because we all know now in game gold is probably one of the most important materials in the game because it just gets absolutely drained so fast in every instance of this game guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more the first descendant be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one